What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just had a rather insane morning of crappie fishing out here on the creek. I got out here at daylight, it was dark. So I didn't film the intro then, I just went straight to fishing. And uh, I honestly couldn't believe how many fish I caught this morning and the quality was great. So we are going to jump right on into this video. Hopefully y'all are excited about it to see all the fish that I caught. If so, do me a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and let's get to jigging. There we go. Got him. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, all right. First fish of the morning. Look how thick that white crappie is, guys. That thing is massive. Just uh, pitched this little jig with my jigging pole and these lily pad stems, and he cracked it. Golly, I got him good, too. That was fun. Okay, let's get him alive. Let's get another one. Another one. Oh. <laughs> Next cast in there. He's not as big. He's not a keeper. So I can fish. Nice little, mm, probably nine inch white crappie. There's another one. Keeper, bacon. Woohoo, yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, that bite is so addicting, guys. That's another good, solid slab white crappie. Man, it feels like a bass fishing. <laughs> Anytime you get the chance to like get the jig rod out and slide it through some grass, that bite is just, it's just electric guys. It is so cold out here. Like there's no way that I'm really wanting to hold on to my other rod and reel and cast it around. So this is just, it's just working out. So this is all I'm using right here. 30 second ounce jig head. It's bright orange. Got a monkey milk colored crappie magnet. This is an 11 foot ACC crappie six jig rod. We're just poking it in these lily pad holes. <laughs> Man, we got a keeper, non-keeper, keeper, and another non-keeper. Smoking it though. I mean, look at that. Gobbled it up. Nice fish. No, another one. Oh. <laughs> Back to that cast and flying. I'm like nervous what's gonna happen if I hook like a you know a two-pounder. There's some bingans out here like that. It's just fun to catch them. Oh, got it. There we go. First black crappie of the day. I'm gonna put him on the measuring board. I don't think he's gonna be 10, but we'll see. He's close, but I think he's gonna be just shy. Don't wanna risk it, so we'll just send him back. Oh, I saw him come. Yeah, that's a keeper. I saw him come to get that thing. And the hook just came out, making my life easier. Another good keeper. Oh, that's big. Oh, I smoked myself in the chest with him, too. I don't know if that might be our biggest one of the day right there. It's hard to say. The sun is just now starting to get over that tree line. I'm not sure if it's going to make this bite better or worse. But we're going to get them in the live well. And we're going to keep on plugging away. Really haven't covered very much water. They've all been in this one little patch of lily pads. But there's lily pads all over the place out here. So it has me pretty excited. <laughs> That's another borderline keeper right there. It's every drop almost, guys. This is crazy. It's like they're either that size or they're uh, they're really good slabs. So there's not really been any in between. It's still a nice little fish, like an eight incher. Toss them back. Again, guys, it's just so much fun. Uh, like I said, just using a little 30 second ounce orange jig head. That's an ACC jig head. That is a uh, crappie magnet, monkey milk color. This is the 11 foot ACC crappie six jigging rod. And I just have six pound tests pulled up on here. I kind of wish I had maybe like some straight braid. So I can just like pitch it through these lily pads and uh, not really worry about getting stuck. But um, this system has definitely been working so far this morning and I'm hoping to catch a couple more big ends before the bite turns off. But I'm not sure if it's going to turn off. I just haven't fished out here enough to know. Um, yeah, but the sun's up now. So that should have some sort of effect. But like I said, time will definitely tell. Oh, 
That one actually came off a dock piling. Not gonna be a keeper, but a little something different. He's nasty, he thinks it's all muddy. Yeah, that might be poop. Ah, that's poop. I think he pooped himself. He got scared. <laughs> That sun is so bright, but we got another one, <laughs> another good keeper. <laughs> another one off the dock post. I'm gonna measure this one. I think he's probably short too, though. But what do you know? We actually got a 10 and a half inch fish. These, these white crappie can be a little bit deceptive because they're so long. That's good fish though. Well, we just kind of moved back over here where we first were catching them. I moved around that way. I was catching a bunch of smaller ones. Um, but we're back over here and still catching some smaller fish. We got to find some slabs. We're going to keep poking around. There's still in these lily pad stems, which is good. Um, I'm seeing a few other people catch some nice ones. So I'm just going to keep chasing this bite until it fizzles out, and then we'll try something else. But this is just too much fun. Oh, there's a keeper. There we go. There we go. I knew if we came back over here, we catch another keeper. There's a black crappie. Is that our first black crappie today? I don't remember. I think that is definitely our first keeper black crappie, and he just smashed it. All right, let's get him in the live well. That's a good fish. Just made a move over here to this other side. First pitch, got another crappie. A little short. Now that right there is the kind that we are after today, folks. That is a good one. I think our first one we caught was like this. We've caught a lot of smaller ones in between those two. That is a really nice fish. It's like probably a pound and a half slab. Beautiful, beautiful white crop. Look how thick he is too. Just tall. He has some really nice fillets on him. Back to back. Back to back slabs. This one's not as big as the one we just caught, but it's still a really good keeper. This, I guess this is the better side. This is where the big ones are at. I think we got ourselves another one that'll measure right there. Oh, where's the bait at? There we go. Let's get him on the board really fast. I think he's probably back 10 and a half. Solid, 10 and a half incher. Yes. I just think it's crazy that I'm able to keep, you know, continuously going up and down these different banks. I mean, I've hit this stretch like five times, and every time I hit it, you know, there's different little angles I'm able to present the jig, and there's new fish moving up in there, and I'm able to get them in the boat. It's another really solid white crappie, and we probably have like 15 in our live well at this point, which is pretty exciting. I'm just gonna keep doing it until it don't work no more. There's a good one. There's another good one. New spot, same result. Another good fish. Oh, back to back. Boom. Two in a row. I was about to turn my camera off and start it over again. This guy bit it before I could do that. Not a keeper. How big art thou? Oh yeah, all day, all day 10 incher. Like I've said many times in several fishing videos, catching crappie, that 10 to 11 inch size is my favorite size to eat. So I get just as excited catching a, you know, a 10 and a half inch keeper as I do catching a 12 inch keeper. Oh, I saw that one. That's a big one. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Get up here. Oh, gosh. That's a big one. 
Look at that one right there, guys. That might be our biggest. We've caught three that are like in this same size category. I had my jig, you know, like probably four inches beneath the surface. I was kind of just watching it go over the top of a lily pad stem and I saw this big old flash and he just sucked it in. That's a really, really nice fish. I'll put him on the board so you can kind of get an idea. He's probably close to 12. Just that, yeah. You can see right there, 12 inches. It's a good one. I ain't mad at that, that's for dang sure. There we go, there's one. Out of the brush pile, how big is it? Oh, nice one. There we go. There's just a keeper out of a brush pile. All right, so this morning we actually caught a bunch of fish uh, fishing around the bank, fishing in those lily pad stems. But now that the sun has gotten up high, I figured the fish would move off the bank and get out here on these brush piles. And so far, looks like that hypothesis is correct. We got ourselves a nice keeper. Oh, good bite. Good fish. Oh, not a bad fish. Not a bad fish. Second drop in that brush pile. That's gonna be a little short, but he bit it good. And that's all we want. We just want that good crappie thump. There's one. That's a good one. Can't keep up with them. Oh, it's a really nice one. Really nice one. Get up here. Oh gosh, get the boat, 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 get the boat. Woo! Get that big slab. That is another just big old slab crappie. It should be illegal to have this much fun. There he is. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a really nice one, I think. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh yeah. Boom. Another good keeper out of the brush pile. Is that our fourth? That's like our fourth or fifth one out of like, I mean, less than 10 drops. So there's definitely some fish hanging out in there. I can't even really see them on my graph. I just see the pile. And I'm just letting that jig just, you know, knock off those branches. And then I, as soon as it like hits off a branch and falls back down into the middle of the pile, I get thumped every time it's pretty much if i make a good presentation i'm gonna catch fish and that's cool oh big and another big one up here come to me right up under the boat i kind of drifted on top of this pile in a way that i don't really want to be but it didn't seem to affect the fish that's another good one that's a big one that's a big one Oh my gosh, how many are in that freaking brush pile? That is awesome. It's another just super solid 12 inch white crappie. It doesn't get any better than this, honestly. Mm hmm. That was a good bite. Big one. Big one. Oh, it's a big one. I think it's the biggest one we've caught in the brush pile so far. I think we're actually in a different brush pile now. There's a bunch of them out here. I'm just kind of hopping between all of these different ones out here. That's a big one. Look how big his mouth is. Look at that jig. He loved it. Oh, there's another good one. Another good keeper. Every time I get the jig right over that brush pile, just the right way, I get bit. If I don't, if I'm not near the brush pile, I don't get bit. So it's all about just getting as close to the pile as possible and then they just come out and smoke it. That's 
a good one. I thought he was small, but he just came up so fast. Gosh dang. This is intense. This is like so crazy. That's about to get smoked. Got him, tricked him. I saw him eat it on my graph. Oh, that's a big one. That's our biggest for sure. That's our biggest. Let's go, baby. That's a big one. <laughs> I think it's our biggest. He looked big in the water. I, I don't know. He's probably just another 12 incher. Can't believe we haven't caught like a big two pounder yet. That's what I'm holding out hope for. That's a beautiful fish. Big old slab white crappie in the box. Mmm, there's a good one. There's a good one. We're right underneath the boat. Another good slab. They're pretty much all the same size out here. I haven't caught anything that's been exponentially larger than this. I'm still holding that hope for it though. All right guys, so we just loaded the boat up. We just got the water. Man, I honestly don't have a lot to say about today's adventure except for that it was awesome. You know, I didn't intend to stay out here as long as I did. I meant to just, you know, kind of scope it out early this morning, see if I get on, get a few slabs in the boat. Um, but those jokers just kept on biting. You know, I kept going up and down the same stretch of lily pads with the jig pole and popping them out of there with the crappie magnet. I mean, I probably caught 40 doing that and, um, you know, caught a bunch of small ones. But got some good keepers and then uh, was able to transition out into um, some deeper brush piles and you know caught some more off of those so overall it was awesome the wind kind of picked up and it was kind of hard to stay on top of those piles the way I needed to and they I think I think they just quit biting which I assume they would at some point but they'll, they might bite again this afternoon I don't know might have to wrangle up the slab queen and see if she wants to come out here and get a piece of this action while the bite is hot but um yeah I am going to take this boat and myself and everything here back to the house and we're gonna get these fish cleaned up and uh should be should be a good time this afternoon eating them up. Let's show you some of these fish real quick first. Let's just show you some of the fish we got in here. Might as well, right? Oh yeah, look at those slabs. Mainly all white crappie. I think I have a couple black crappie in there. But overall, just some really good fish. Lots of 10 and a half, 12 and a half inch fish. No absolute units, but that will definitely get the job done. I am, I'm just so stoked. That was a great morning of fall crappie fishing. Let's get back to the house. Let's show Jay our catch and let's get them all cleaned up. 